and you'd say, well, Ryan, 1.1, 1.2, that's not that big of a difference. But a 1.1 to a 1.2 on this, on this deal, on certain varieties is a big deal. It's a big difference. The only, the only difference in terms of Southern and Central and Northern part of our state would be the percentage. You'd probably tone it down for the South, you know, and maybe add a little something to it in the North on a year where, where you get variability and chill. Now this was a weird year. I don't think North Florida even really had any chill, you know, and Georgia was more like Florida was. So the guy, that's why the guys who used it this year in Georgia are hitting a home run because the guys who didn't, they're like we would normally be if we didn't use it. They're just flowers and no leaves and they're gonna be late. Yeah, so there's four varieties in this field. And to give you an idea, one of the varieties we sprayed early in the season, around mid-December, and then one of the varieties we sprayed late in the season, around mid-January. Uh, so different varieties have different timings in terms of the, their application. And then different varieties, we use different application rates. The one variety we sprayed with 2%, another variety we may spray with 1.1%. And so the timing and the percentage matter depending on what variety you're talking about. And it can also matter depending on, on how much chill you've had that year. So you get year to year variation as well. You may spray a certain variety at 1.1% one, one, 1 .1 this year. And then two years from now, we may spray it at 1.4%, for instance. And that's due to the fact that we, have, we had more cold weather early in the season. It's, we know that it's safer to, to bump up our percentages. The less chill you have, the more likely you have to have problems. So you kind of got to know what the environmental factors have been leading up to when you make your spray decision.